All right, big day today. Flying the air bike, maybe, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna try. First, I gotta install the tachometer, and then Sylvia's gonna come in later. She's gonna help me put the wings on. I gotta tune it also. I've been lax a little bit. Hopefully today, we'll get a fly down the runway. If anything, we'll do a hop and skip. So this tachometer is going to give me an hour meter also, which is kinda nice. I wonder if I need to put a battery in that thing. Okay, so I had this wrong. These I need to cut this in half. Someone left a comment. Thank you, whoever that was. To tuck them underneath here. All right, so I'm gonna move the fuel pump up to here because someone actually commented saying they had a 447 fail on them because the fuel pump was lower than the suction line and oil would go down and basically uh, clog the suction line and then prevent fuel from getting pumped. So we're gonna move this to here. If that guy didn't comment, this fuel pump would still be here. So yeah, I get to learn and then you guys get to learn too. Pretty cool. I really am gonna mount that fuel tank up higher also. Gravity just works. Other thing is I read somewhere that these actually need to be flat, but I think that was just the puck style. I'm not sure. Everyone tells me they're always mounted this way on snow, snowmobiles, but this isn't a snowmobile. Still very cold. Supposedly this suction tube needs to be stiffer. Someone else also commented on that. This is pretty tough. Like it's definitely tougher than this, but better safe than sorry. Look how much thicker that one is than this one. I don't think this one will be able to collapse. It's definitely stiffer than this one. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Next thing is let's, let's secure this guy. I think I'm gonna do a strap. We'll do a strap up, mount into these guys, and then back to here. Should keep that from doing this. Okay, ready, set, go. Now we're gonna bend this down. Definitely gonna have to buy me one of these. It might not be in Milwaukee though. That is amazing. I'm finding some metric bolts to put in there. And that thing will stop rattling. Steve is here, and we're gonna need to put the wings on this bad boy. But first, we have to move the capella and all this junk, because it is cold outside, so we're just gonna put the wings on in here. And then I think maybe tomorrow, then we'll go back out. Do that wing on the other side first. Yeah, Do you think we should use hardened bolts for this? Do you think we should use hardened bolts for this? No. Zip ties should work? Yes. <laughs> you guys don't remember, Steve is the one that said, no, nah, you don't need to switch those spark wires. <laughs> We're gonna give him a hard time now, from now on. Fun fact, Steve actually built this hanger, what, 25 years ago? Or so, yep. He has helped me with so much knowledge of building. It's, it's amazing, I'm so fortunate to know him. He's not very good with two strokes though. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with. I got all these nuts and pins and bolts and gotta figure out how to put these wings on. Before we continue this video, we have to say thank you to the sponsor, Helix. Like most people, sleep is really important to us. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that is customized to fit your needs. And they are conveniently shipped right to your doorstep. I mean, it's like legit. Everybody's different and Helix knows that. They made the sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to make a perfect mattress for you. 
I'm a back sleeper. And I'm a side sleeper. I like a medium mattress. And I like medium too. Based on our results, Helix matched us with the Lux Dusk mattress. Oh, oh. my gosh. <laughs> that is so nice. That is so nice. Whoa. Now that we've been sleeping on our Helix Dusk Lux mattress for over a month, we gotta say, we have no neck pain or back pain. It honestly feels like we're sleeping on top of a cumulo nimbus cloud. We love it. With Helix Sleep Mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with 10 year warranty and they have financing options and flexible payment plans. The best part about all of this is that Helix delivers your mattress right to your door. It comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set it up yourself. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you've never tried before, you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. If you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you get a full refund. Click on the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash Morsinko for up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress. You get two free pillows. Pillow set. Thank you Helix for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the air bike. Oh, we got four years. You know what I was actually gonna do? It's so much easier to wash them on the ground. All right, we are not gonna put the wings on tonight because I want to wash them and it's gonna be a lot easier to wash them on the ground. Because if you've ever tried washing something underneath, it really sucks and it's just no fun. So tomorrow morning, we'll mount the wings, I think. I always say that and we never mount them. So maybe, maybe tomorrow they'll get on the plane and I'll go taxi it around. First, I gotta wash them though. Look who came to visit. Hello. And help, actually. So change of plans. I was gonna go do the run up on this, the break in for the motor, but it's super windy outside, so. Um, and I gotta move this wing to clean the other wing. So Sylvie came in to help install that wing on that side. So uh, Yay. hopefully this goes good. You ready? You got your muscles pumped up? Always. Okay. So oh, this is the plan. We're gonna carry the wing over. Yeah. You're, you're gonna be on this side. You're gonna be going like this. And then, okay, now you have to turn. Okay, now, one sec. Can you kind of push it? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Right there, stop. All right, go back just a tad. Right there. Okay, I got that one. Keep going, right? Right there. Babe, you're doing really good. I'm unnatural. Whew, okay. Just all that. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, let's do this. How are you doing? Go in the hole. How is it, babe? Come on. We got one more. Okay, you gotta go. How's your arms? Keep going, keep going. A little bit more. <laughs> oh, one oh second. Oh my gosh, faster. The cables. It's slipping. Okay, go up, go up, go up, go up. Hey, we got a wing on. Okay, now is the airplane gonna tip over? <laughs> it's on. We got one wing on. Looks dirt. 
dirty. Man, they did a nice job. Big wing for a small airplane. All right, we got one wing on. Yay. She looks good. I know. That's what I've been cleaning. That's what I've been washing. Yeah. Sucks. It'll look better with the other wing on. Okay, I'm gonna get clean into this wing, and I think Steve is gonna help me put this one on. Good. Unless you wanna stay for another two, three hours. No. Okay, here we go. Let's get cleaning. You wanna help? There's blood in there. Holy cow, it's a little bit cleaner. Actually, it's a lot cleaner, but it is still kind of dirty. I don't know if it's what this black is. But I think I'll eventually do a paint job on it. Fabric feels really good. I am gonna get it tested. I know a lot of you guys are like, you gotta test that fabric, you gotta test fabric, which I am gonna get it tested. But I had my buddy over here and he was like, that fabric's good. Um, but we'll do a test just because why not? And I just gotta find someone with a fabric tester. I'm gonna open up these inspection rings and see. I hate doing this, they're so hard. I put this down. A little bit tricky. Oh yeah, look at that. They really built this wing well, I will say. John Roberts' father, I think he built up quite a few airplanes, so you could tell that he knew what he was doing when he built this. Let's get a flashlight so we can see inside this wing. Oh wow, look how beautiful that stuff is. It's such a good job. Look at the craftsman work. Holy crap, I've never seen that done. They took uh, X-bracing wood stringers. That's actually really cool. And that spar, oh, I just can't get enough. I actually, I've never really seen it done like that on top of the ribs. So that's pretty cool. Um, I was curious because this is a single strut, which is very, odd for an air bike like i don't think there's there's probably not one air bike out there with a single strut so technically this isn't really a single uh air bike it kind of is in a way i'm gonna open up more of these inspection uh plates it looks really good though from that one that i opened i'm impressed really excited this wing he did a wonderful job on it it's too sad that it's been left in a barn for pigeons to poop all over it uh so note if you get an airplane and you need to store it just throw a tarp over it, throw a blanket, throw an old sheet. Do something, do something. My friends, they know, <laughs> they know better. Let's open up that other one. Let's see what's in here. Ugh, I hate pushing on these. It's like you gotta, there we go. Oh, that one came off. Get some glue and glue that back on. Oh no, no, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, no. Well, that sucks. There's mice in there. It means there's mice in the wing. I don't think they could actually eat or chew anything. How they got in? I'm guessing through this little freaking hole right there. Dang it. That sucks. Big long vacuum, I don't know. Uh, I wonder if they get it on this other one. So I took off the inspection plate and I look inside and it's beautiful work until I look down at the leading edge and I noticed that there was mice crap and I had a very good whiff of the smell and then I did more inspection and there's basically nest and a city of mice that had a really nice home in this wing but I gotta clean it out. What was the option? A lot of you guys are like, just recover the wing, take the fabric off. 
I don't wanna do that. The actual fabric is good. I'll do a test and show you guys that. So the option is I'm gonna put little cut, little slits and so I can get in there, clean all the mouse crap out. It's just in the leading edge. Doesn't look like they did any damage. They were just having fun and hanging out. I thought they were sealed. That wing is sealed. That wing is good. I'm so bummed, did not wanna do this. So I'm gonna actually take the wing outside because that's, it stinks, it's terrible. It really smells, it's just nasty. So I'm gonna take it outside, cut the slits, clean all the stuff out, and then uh, patch it up and we'll be good to go. Hopefully I can get most of this done and then maybe fly it in the next few days. So yeah, here we go. Fast track habitat, feeling like I found a change. It's supposed to get up to 55. Um, this is lightweight fabric, so I would imagine 45 would be good because on a mall they're going to use heavyweight fabric. This is a test punch because a lot of people comment and say, you got to test the fabric. And uh, let's do it. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So it went past the minimum that the FA put out for a mall. Did leave a divot. I'm gonna be cutting this out, so that's why I did it right there. Now everyone can feel a lot better that the fabric is in good shape. Makes me feel better too. I did want to test it. But from what everyone said, unless it's been outside sitting in the sun, it's fine. The fabric test is done. Okay, now we're gonna cut a little piece out, see how easy it is for me to clean out this area. And uh, if it is fairly easy, then I'll just keep working my way down. And it is super cold out here. You can see a little mouse poop right there. A lot of people would be like, no, just, just fly with it like that. Nasty. This was a dirty job when I was cleaning bird poop off the wing. This job just got a little dirtier. Mike Rowe would be proud. Uh, so the reason I didn't cut up right here because I'm just nervous that this is going past into this bay. So if that's the case, then I'm just gonna do one big cut. So nasty. new plan basically just doing little pieces I can't get into the other section so I'm just cutting the whole leading edge peeling it back the reason I put these screws in is hopefully it'll keep the fabric from pulling back you can see a couple of ripples there and then that way when I put it back down it'll prevent any of that even though I can take a lot of that out by a iron yeah so that's what we're doing now I'm cutting down the leading edge right down the center of it it's freaking heartbreaking to do this. Yeah, it's the way to go. Look at this. Oh my gosh. So disgusting. So that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna come back later with uh, some tapes over top of this 
and glue those down. And I will then take uh, iron and heat that up and that iron will actually set that glue really into the wood. Should work good. All right, now we gotta get busy and do the rest of the wing. Let's go. And it is not done, but the taping is all done. I feel really good about it. I haven't done it for a long time, so just trying to refresh myself. I probably could have done a little bit better job, but I'm gonna then take the iron in like an hour or so, bonds everything together. So I'm gonna take the iron, but I gotta wait a little bit, clean everything up, and then we will uh, paint it. And I'm actually gonna just use house paint because you wanna use a water-based paint with this. And I don't think I'm going to actually fly it. It's super windy. We've had terrible weather. It looks like maybe next couple days I'll be able to do it. So that's going to be in another video. This definitely was a setback, but it's okay. We got it fixed. I'm still very happy about this. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So next video will hopefully be me flying the air bike. Yeah. Thanks for watching this far and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Good.